welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here please click the subscribe and bell buttons to be notified when new videos are uploaded and like comment and also share the videos with your friends and family the barbados wildlife reserve is located on four acres of lush natural mahogany forest near the top of farley hill in the northern parish of saint peter next to the Grenade Hall Signal Station and Forest, opposite the Fardy Hill National Park. The reserve was established by Canadian primatologist Jean Balou and his wife Suzanne, who moved from Montreal and initially founded the Barbados Primate Research Centre in 1982, for the conservation and study of green monkeys, which were brought to Barbados in the 17th century and have now become widespread on the island. In 1985, the research center was expanded into a wildlife reserve with funding from the Canadian International Development Agency. The buildings in the wildlife reserve are all constructed from coral rock, excavated from nearby sugarcane fields and the bricks that formed the pathways were recycled from sugar factories. Non-native animals include the red brocket deer which is very shy and hides in the shade like this one. There are also rabbits, caimans which are crocodiles and look like alligators otters of goatees which resemble guinea pigs in high heels as the armadillos prefer to hide in burrows during the day you may not always get to see them the wildlife reserve is the animal kingdom of barbados where visitors have the unique opportunity to roam freely at close range among the animals as they feed and play in their natural environment. Peacocks also share the premises and add bright splashes of color.
On the reserve you will find the Barbados green monkeys which move around freely and often leave the fenced enclosures of the reserve. Those that leave in the morning usually return in the afternoon at feeding time, which is around 2 p.m., where employees distribute fresh fruits and grains. Planted banana and mango trees provide food for these monkeys. The monkeys live in troops of about 15 and can grow up to 2 feet tall. They have a lifespan of about 30 years. These monkeys originally came from Senegal and the Gambia in West Africa. And historians believe that they were brought to Barbados on slave ships about 350 years ago as gifts to the early settlers. Lovers of reptiles will welcome the collection of an endangered species of Cuban rock iguanas, Patagonian maras, a variety of South American snakes, turtles, red-footed tortoises, which were once plentiful on the island but are now only found on the reserve. The more dangerous animals like the caimans or crocodiles and the Pythons are kept in cages. The snakes love to sleep under the leaves, so at times it may appear as though the cage is empty if at first glance they are not spotted. The python is non-venomous and feeds once a month. The walkthrough bird sanctuary features a wide range of colorful birds like the macaws, parrots, pink flamingos, lovebirds, brown pelicans, brown doves, and many other tropical birds. Ducks, geese also roam around while the blackbirds, tiny sparrows, and pigeons fly in and out of the reserve. On leaving the bird sanctuary, on the other side, this is what I stumbled upon, an iguana.
On the reserve, you will find the Barbados green monkeys, which move around freely and often leave the fence enclosure of the reserve. And those that leave in the morning usually return in the afternoon at feeding time, which is around 2 p.m. Their employees distribute fresh fruits and grains. Planted banana and mango trees provide food for these monkeys. Uh, the green monkeys are the only species of monkey in Barbados and are referred to as green because of their brown and grey coats with olive green highlights that produce a green sheen in the sunlight. The best way to observe the Barbados green monkeys and the other animals up close as they interact with each other is by either walking along the shady paths or sitting quietly on the strategically placed benches where inevitably some creatures will scamper through the natural habitat. Crocodiles should be somewhere in this region, so I'm just looking around to see if I can find any. They're normally in this pool water, so hopefully we'll get lucky. Oh yes, here are two of them. Thank you. 